Afternoon, fellas. Quick uh, video for the tube. Anybody doing tapping in 304 stainless steel or any other hard material, uh, I have a couple of tips that help me out. They might help you. And uh, hopefully you can just skip to the end result and save yourself the agony of going through what I did. All right, so I got some uh, 304 stainless steel to tap here for a couple of manifolds for some sprayers I'm building. Uh, I'm going to deliver these probably in the next month or so. But uh, we got some stainless steel pipe work to do and to weld on quite a few fittings and uh, get this thing all uh, set up the way it needs to be. Otherwise, I uh, originally started out with a tapered pipe reamer and a carbon steel tap. That's fine for softer materials uh, and some of the aluminum work I was doing before, but no good for stainless. Then we moved up to a uh, five fluid high speed steel tap uh, again with the tapered pipe reamer and every cutting oil or oil or lubricant I had around the shop was tried out. Still couldn't get it in that range to get the proper depth for the NPT threads. So anyway, on an order I had uh, uh, on the way at KBC, a interrupted cut five flute high speed steel uh, tap. I'll get this to focus for you. And as you can see right there at the top, every other thread is removed to reduce chip load and torque. Uh, in combination with that right there, Molly D, which came highly recommended by pretty much everybody that's used it um, on harder materials to tap. Uh, it was very easy to do, almost to the point where I probably did not need to make myself those soft jaws to hold the, uh, the pipe uh, here. I've got, I don't know, probably about 25 uh, threads to do uh, throughout the course of this project. Um, otherwise, yeah, super easy. If you got three or four stainless steel to do, just, just skip everything you have and uh, go straight for something like that. I think there's quite a few people that make these things. And uh, by all means, uh, a big time saver and effort saver. Before, I was having a lot of distortion in the parts because I had the pipe uh, chucked up in my three jaw and in some V-blocks. And I just couldn't get enough grip on the part to be able to run the tap into the required depth. And I couldn't even get there. Uh, but with that uh, tap right there and that product, uh, it's it's pretty easy. As in, you know, you could do it in uh, a matter of a minute uh, tops. Uh, with the other methods and the other inferior uh, products for this material, um, it was, you know, substantially longer. Anyways, hopes that uh, helps somebody out that's uh, got some work in 304 stainless steel or other harder materials. And uh, thanks for watching.